What's up guys, this is Red Light Stardust Dragon, today I have to be a Time Lord Burn Profile, like I said, in the Battles of Legends. Um, Relentless Revenge opening, that would have one, I'm, I'm very excited to finally start playing this like deck, because I've been waiting for all the Time Lords to get printed since the first one, Metaion, but he's even had a rim reprint, so that's really great. And um, basically I'm playing a burn version of the Time Lord, because you can most of the time words burn, so you just stack all the damage and say that's um, that's the game. So for further ado, let's get into it. So for the uh, monsters, of course. Also, this is kind of more fun profile, so more of a fun deck to leave, So that's why I'm playing like their time words. But first, you've got to have free time maiden because she's a very essential card. The only thing is, she clashes with your power of duality and card of this card of demise. <coughs> In this deck because she has special summons because you want to special summon her tribute her off at any time that you want and then you can banish her to summon another time lord which is and if you're going like first or preferably seconds with this card you can summon out um michion and sandion so you attack half their life points attack again and run over anything and burn for 2000 damage so you've only got 2000 left to go which isn't that hard, especially if you can like search out Sand Ion again, <laughs> or have like enough burn cards to set them down two thousand life points. So you really to OTK with this deck. You realistically only need Time Maiden and um, and any burn cards that are equivalent up to two thousand damage. So for Time Lords, because it's more of a fun profile, we're playing one of each. We play Gabrion, Halion, Camion, Lazion. Metion, Michion, oh, whoops, Raphion, Sadion, Sandion, and Safia, <laughs> because it's more of a fun deck profile. Of course, we're not playing Cephalion because he sucks ass, and I hate that card because while well, trying to bring him over for the real life game, his effects got completely nerfed. But if you were going for like a better profile of this, I would recommend playing more Michion, play more Sandion, play more. Lazion, um, play Saphion, clear out back row. You want to cut out Sadion, Raphion, Halion, basically them free if you're going for more of a pure, per like, better burn version. But this is more of a fun one, so I'm playing one of each Time Lord. <laughs> so for our spells, we are running free Card of Demise because. Searching out your burn cards can be really fun, and especially since all your time words are normal summonable, so you can just normal summon them, and then card of demise, draw three, and um, get burn cards off them, so you can finish them off quicker. They also, also the discarding effect can be really helpful for helping you set up your empty machine to get to like infinite light. <laughs> We're playing two to desires because draw her. Time Lords do suffer a bit from being able to draw power, especially when you're playing them with the, chain, with the burn cards. So you do want to try and keep up with your advantage. Free duality, because all your Time Lords normal summon except Time Maiden, so this doesn't really like um, keep you back or anything, but it does help you search free for some of your burn cards. And finally, one chain burn, because we are only allowed to play one chain burn, and playing chain burn is... <laughs> Quite fun. Oh, uh, chain strike even. I've been calling it chamber there. So, for traps, we play free empty machine because this helps you do some draw power. Especially in this like more fun version, you can always discard all the bad time wars and draw a card. And then after using up all your burn cards, you can use this effect to swap out for the infinite machine. So we are playing one infinite machine and one infinite light because. I've currently I only have one one and one of well, actually two but I'm keeping one for collection. But we only have one for each. Also you kind of don't want to play any more than one because they're kind of garnets if you draw them. Especially if you don't have all three of them so you can activate them all simultaneously. But um it's really hard to get them out otherwise and if your opponent cosmic cyclones this then you're kind of dead. So I was debating playing them at two two but I think 1-1 one, one is probably the best ratio for these cards. 
free balance of judgment because this deck can really struggle with advantage sometimes and we're not playing reckless greed so playing free balance of judgment kind of balances it out. Free justice urge because it's one of the most overpowered burn cards there is for each especially if your opponent tries to like build up a gogi board you can probably bait them out with one of your other chamber cards and burn them for like I think that would be like 3,000 damage straight up, which is pretty neat. <laughs> two Secret Barrel, because I only have two. My friend has forgotten me to trade me either a third version, because I at the because I only had one until I got the second one off my friend, and he just remembered or now that he had the first version, he was playing in this Trickstar deck. So I need to get the third one off him for to complete Secret Barrel. <laughs> Free Secret Blast, because this is also you, you, um, very useful. If they try to destroy it, you can chain on Secret Blast to do extra 3,000 damage. And because it gets destroyed and end up, you can you inflict 1,000 damage to them. And then we play 2 Ring of Destruction. for the, Because if you don't draw into the correct combination of Time Lords, you can always just like kind of bring them down low enough where one Time item will be able to finish the job. Also, this is only one of the ways that is good removal, apart from like Gabrion or Camion. So it's just very useful too. <laughs> For the extra deck, there's you really only need to play one extra deck card, and it's Super General Rail Cannon Gustav Max whenever it comes up, which is normally when you have like Infinite Machine because Time Maiden forbids you from special summoning the same turn that you use or effect of like other cards except Time Lords. <laughs> So you can only really bring this off Infinite Machine, but if you do have Infinite Machine, you can attack, deal some damage, overlay, good stuff max, detach, and probably finish them off for him. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for my Time Lord, Time Lord Burn profile. I don't know what else to say about this card, it's just like really fun to use. Especially if like burning your opponent. And um... Time Lords are really fun to use. They're a really gimmicky thing. I was debating on playing them here, but I don't think they'll be able to get in through enough like damage. <laughs> so I just decided to play this Time Lord Burn Profile. So anyways, if you enjoyed this deck profile, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in the future. This is Red Eye Starless Dragon, out.